Well, good day, gorgeous. How the devil's your face? My name, as always, is Theo, and this is, as usual, Damn It Open. It's time to check some boxes. It's time to look at bots. A uh, very little preamble today. No real news, nothing to catch up on. We're all caught up on giveaways, nothing to report. But I see no reason not to bang the heck on. Box 55, 1 Hanley Street, Nottingham NG15, BLUK. Uh, uh, uh. Just a couple for you today. We're going to keep it tight and brief, like my undies. And we'll begin with this handsome pack from from uh, Briximus Prime over in the Americas. We're gonna keep it swift today to try and stay regular on the channel. Well, not regular, but frequent. I'm on my grind, as they say. The whole YouTube shorts thing has kind of changed the game. I feel like I'm a very late adopter for that one. I didn't get on board for ages because I couldn't figure out how to produce video portrait because it's not compatible with my software. But then like I eventually figured out I could just tilt my camera, produce the video sideways, and then correct it on my phone. Like I'm so dumb. But yes, please go and check out my shorts. I'm having loads of fun doing that. And it feels like the old days, like doing small videos frequently. And I feel like they're turning out all right. Anyway, goth icon, that's me, all right. Oh, I see, it's Skywarp. We have a little fan art of Skywarp teleporting in to cause some trouble. As he tends to. Dear Few Warp, I've been watching your channel for a few years now. Nice. I've always wanted to send a package your way, but at the time the PO box was closed, I had to. I was like full up here, so it just we just had to have a couple of years off. But nothing feels so good as being back in business. Your channel and videos have helped me stay positive and to keep the good vibes rolling. That's what we do here. You were one of the main inspirations for my own YouTube channel, Briximus Prime. Cheeky plug, why not? Also, you would be pleased to hear I've been listening to Rouge Lim. Oh, mate, <laughs> it's rogue. R-O-G-U-E. I wouldn't mind if it was just like viewers getting it wrong, but it's promoters too. We've been rouge limb on like a couple of posters now and it's really embarrassing. Glad you're enjoying it anyway, that's really nice. Little drawing of me on the drums there with Skywarp rocking out, love that. That is how most of our gigs go. Just one person losing his mind. I have a few questions. One, what happened to HasLab Unicron? I sold it. Two, what are your thoughts on the upcoming TF video game? Well, great timing. I just did a video about the Reactivate toys. I'll get into to it a bit there. Basically, I'm looking forward to it. I really want it to be good, but I feel like, one, I'm doubtful that it's going to come out at all, and two, it's going to be one of these live service games with tons of microtransactions, and that's a huge turn off. But I'm open to it. We'll give it a look. I really want it to do well and be good, but I oh, don't know. I just don't know, man. Three, how long does your editing of videos take? Uh, depends. Damn it open, like one of these that they normally run about 20, 25 minutes, but I usually have an hour plus of footage, at least 90 to 120 minutes. So that can take a couple of days to get down. Reviews as well, like the uh, Reactivate review, that took two days. But shorts, I could do in an afternoon. Write them, shoot them, get them done in like three hours. It's amazing. Ah, it's so nice to have something I can do that doesn't have to take 10 days. Four, what is your favorite TF YouTube channel you personally watch? Uh, McFeely? Honestly, I, it's tough to beat. I just like the sort of non-fiction presentation that he does. I actually don't watch many like toy review channels because I don't want to get like my opinion mishmashed with theirs before I produce a video and just wind up saying the same thing. So I generally don't watch that many toy reviews. But McFeely and the sort of more factual stuff, big fan of that. Five, opinion on power metal. My favorite band is Sabaton. <laughs> nice. Uh, um... Not really my style, I'm more sort of hardcore death metal these days, but a little bit occasionally goes a long way. I was a big fan of uh, Unleash the Archers. Love that album, they did Abyss, but then they started using AI to write their songs and it's like, forget it. Sabaton are all right though, yeah, I get it. I get the appeal. Just turn that down. There we go. Get some shade on this Unicron drawing. That's tight. Good work, my man. All right, nice one, Briximus. Let's see what's in this here package. Comic books. Oh, yes, we have a uh, Cobra Commander. Image Comics. This is going to be the uh, new shared universe comics that uh, the Skyband comics are in. I'm very much enjoying those. I'm up to, like, issue four of that, and it's, it's really good so far. So this is a tie-in on that, and there's, like, Void Rivals as well. Ugh, can I just read one title? You've always got to do three at the same time, ain't you? I'll definitely have a look at that. I'm still kind of lukewarm on G.I. Joe, but it's worth a go, innit? I respect that they're trying to do something. Oh, wait, it's the little Daniel figure that came with uh, Buzzworthy Bumblebee, the, the little Scout class one that looks like Bumper. Daniel or Spike, and more likely to be Spike. I got that Bumblebee in the uh, Optimus Prime 2 pack, so I didn't get this, and I wonder how it works. Is that it? Is it just that? I think it's just the butt flap. Goes from man to 
to vehicle via the butt. Wild. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's a handsome shockwave. I recognize you. I think this is like Cyber Battalion shockwave or Authentics. I can't tell the difference between those toy lines. Definitely uh, seen this lad before, but I can't remember exactly how it works. Or I may not have ever known, but I do seem to be getting somewhere. Uh, like, is that it? It's gotta be something like that. Sleepy time spaceship mode. Kind of a gun, kind of a submarine. You know how it goes with Shockwave these days. He turns into a nothing. He's either a crab tank or just Shockwave having a nap. That's where we're at. That is a good looking Shockwave though, isn't it? Nice and basic and simple. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. And the last one, uh, this is, this is either gonna be um, Kingdom Mutant Tigertron, but I think it's just a, a knockoff cheapo tiger robot thing. Let's have a go. These all work the same. Yeah, I'm not sensing the Kingdom quality. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, that's garbage. I bet I know what his head's gonna look like. Things of this sort of ilk, things of this genre, always have the same robot head. I bet it's got kind of sad eyes, a mouth plate, and like a little blue dome. If it's anything except the head that Bloodthirsty War Dolphin had, I'll be livid. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> There's my guy. The very one. <laughs> Shocker. Oh, oop. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Like, the tiger head is quite good and sort of dreamy looking and very calm, but it's simply another one of this guy. Oh, you sad little wiener. Look how far that head comes out. It's kind of basically still a tiger. Oh, lads. Classic stuff. Thank you, Briximus Prime. Please do go check out the channel. Wonderful stuff. Thank you so much. Couple of bots, bit of light reading and some fan art. And without further ado, we bang on. Very handsome, tightly packed package here, same. Open through top, I was gonna. All set for Babril, gonna try and bring that back for another round. Can't promise we'll stick to one a week, but I'll do my damnedest. It's the best part of my year. Anyway, who do we have and what it is? Photo of Optimus Prime. Dear Funicron, the pun bringer. Name's Dan, I'm an amateur cosplayer. Oh, is this you? I've been a fan and subscriber of yours since your Fall of Cybertron Bruticus review. God, that was a while ago. It's always a joy watching you review toys, smash knockoffs, being a lovable goof, or any combination of the three. Those are the three things I do. Keep being your awesome, beautiful beard itself. Do what I want. So this, I guess, is uh, one of Dan's cosplays, looking actually pretty tidy, at uh, MCM Comic Con, looks like. Nice, love to see it. I can't tell how much of this is just packaging. Let's dig in. Uh, some kind of pole. This looks like a big Megatron thing. This appears to be some flavor of Optimus Prime. Ooh, look at that. Very um, War Within Dreamwave vibe on this. Mastermind Creations Optus Pro Minion. Whoa, that's sick. Look at this big chunky boy. Those are some of the heftiest wheels I've ever seen. Very sort of chunky and like standalone vehicle-y. I love that in an Optimus Prime. God damn it. I'm so annoyed about missing Link Optimus. It's so frustrating because what I want is just the cab of the Toy Colors one. Because you can get the Toy Colors one with the trailer or the cab on its own, but it's cartoon colors. And it's not quite what I want, but it's like 40 quid less. It's just so annoying. I'm gonna hang on and see if they do a different variety or another run. If I'm gonna spend that kind of money on a toy, I want it to be at least the right colors that will make me happy. I could have pre-ordered either one and been slightly unhappy, but in the end I didn't get either, and now they're all sold out. So what the hell? Thanks a lot, Takara. Anyway, I'm gonna try and uh, transform this thing as a third party masterpiece-esque. Item. I expect it's gonna be more than I can figure out on my own. I don't fancy getting Emgo up and making you watch me do that. Oh yeah, Emgo. I also watch Emgo because he's very handy for transformations. <laughs> Bit of a shin splittage there. Looks intentional, I don't think I've wrecked it. That's how this is gonna go. I don't think I'm wrecking it. Oh yeah, no, that's a foot. We fold out a foot, that's quite clever actually. Shift that down a bit. Yeah, oh, this is decent. So we pull the leg down and then there's a little tendon in there that we flip into position and close the leg back up. Impressed, and I think we have legs. This might be achievable. Big <laughs> seismic movement there in the rear. Oops, oh dear. Snapped something off. 
hopefully it will go back in. Never know with these unofficial ones. Oh, Christ. Now, nah, that's not going back on. All right, we've got one waste chunk. The, the other one there's come off and I can't get it back in. I'm souring on this very quickly. I don't feel safe enough for this to be interesting. Like, I don't know if I've broken it or if I'm gonna break it. I just, oh, God. I don't even know what the robot mode looks like. Let me check. Mastermind Optus Prominion. Prominon. Prominon. Do 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 do. <laughs> All right, but where do the wheels go? God, I hate the kind of stalks that they use. Parts on poles. I don't know, man. I feel like I like I would like this. Because it looks all right, but oh, it's just trying to be too clever for its own good. That's the thing with a lot of these unofficial ones. They just try and, like, do a little more than is necessary, and the transformations are just a little bit too fiddly, and the parts aren't great quality, so it's all... It becomes a battle. I'm not trying to be like, oh, Hasbro's better, actually, but aren't they, though? The more you try and do, the more likely you are to slip up somewhere, and that's precisely what's happened. Doesn't need individual knuckles. Come on. I want to give it credit because it looks all right, but it's a bit of a state, isn't it? Dan, thank you for sending this in. I love the opportunity to check this kind of stuff out, but this is a little bundle of stress you've given me here. <laughs> Let's see if there's gear for him. Arm cannon, sword, little matrix blade there. That's pretty sick. Some kind of enormous gun. It's almost like Astro Train's gun, isn't it? It's just huge. All right, there we go. We have Optus Prominent. The ultimate knockoff name, isn't it? There he goes. He looks all right. He's got his big gun. There's a bunch more stuff. I think there's an axe and a great big sword there. That's not a bad attempt. Bit wibbly, bit sort of misguided for me. It doesn't quite feel finished, you know? It just feels a little scrappy around the edges. But they've had a go and it, it ain't bad. I don't like it, but it ain't bad. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. That's wonderful. Semi-wonderful. And we have another bag of gear here with a certain uh, telltale faceplate in there. Can we identify who that is? Can we guess the toy from this bag of bits of Megatron? It's friggin' MP36, baby! I guess that explains the pole and the additional pole. <laughs> Let's go! Let us go, gamers! Ooh! Oh, he's a sexy lad. Handsome, furious Megatron. Yeah, that feels proper, mate. This is what we were all about. Give me that fusion cannon. Just clips tastily right there. Could it be more iconic? You know what? I do have my issues with the more cartoon accurate um, masterpieces. I didn't like Skywarp at all. I knew it was going to be like that. And yet I bought it thinking there'd be something I like about it, and I don't. Duh! 200 quid in the f***ing bin, innit? But for me, Megatron, that is more like it. This has a different energy all its own. It's just like the guy out of the cartoon who's gonna blow up the mine or whatever. That's him right here. And we can just slide in a different head. Uh, ooh. Oh god, that's unnerving. That's the old mid-reformat moment with Unicron, isn't it? His little mouth! <laughs> uh. Anyway, we can just slide this straight in. There's no, like, nothing to unlock, no extra bits to lose, it just slots right in there. Rah! He-Man! That's such a 80s cartoon face, I love it. This is immediately so entertaining. God, I was very tempted actually, speaking of cartoon colour schemes, I was very tempted to get the Soundwave reissue, the 86 uh, movie version, because it looks so pretty. But that was the day that I ended up getting Reactivate, Starscream and Bumblebee, and the Ninja Turtles. Much as the Soundwave looked good, it was just more repaints. They had him and Blaster and like, Men and some of the other legacy sort of redecos, and it's like, I'm all right, give me something new. Reactivate was perfect for that. Those things are so good and so interesting. They were fully refreshing and invigorating on a day that could have otherwise been about settling for repaints. In unprecedented moments, I'm going to attempt to transform this thing. Instructions. Thank you, Dan, for including this. I'd be lost without this. God, we're already four pages into the instruction booklet before we get to the transformation. Loads going off here. Right, flip up the back panel. Nice and easy. Flip down the weird vestigial gun barrel. Oh, we have the trigger. Trigger warning! <laughs> Twist the chest panel and what? Push it in? Flip it out? Oh, we lift it up a bit. Yeah, there it goes. Arms do this. Fold out the armpits. Okay. Interesting. I can see why people like this. I still haven't had a go on the plus version yet. I'm so terrified of ruining the chrome. Years later, I'm still scared of it. So, thank you, Dan. <laughs> I actually get to be hands-on with this thing. This one's a bit more durable, and I feel safe in its 
presence. Spooch the arms down. Spooch. That's the actual word for when you do that. Tilt the whole thing forward. This is how you do a proper transformation. This is a properly thought out, user friendly transformation. Not to get on the third party hate train too much, but those things always feel like they're trying to show you how clever they can be. Whereas here, I feel like I'm being shown a good time. God, this is nice. It even shows you where to put his thumb. That's wild. The way that nice articulated arm has so completely disappeared into a bit of gun. I'd hesitate to say fuselage. <laughs> the gun, what, flips around? It does. Okay. Slightly awkward, but it does work. <laughs> I hate that I know somebody's gonna have a crush on that. Very satisfying though, the way that all sort of locks in and this whole column sort of lines up and clicks together. Feet please, we fold this whole section out, swing it around. Tough to tell what's going on here. The illustrations are tiny and it's all in Japanese. I got no chance. So we split the shin armor and fold that in. That comes up and out, flip that up, flip that up out of that and then back down, so that sort of collapses in from either side. Then I guess we slide that back up, fold the foot in. It's all making sense. And that's the trigger housing. I see. God, this is good. Those can chill there for now, but we have our handle basically. Yank these down, smush it all together. We have handle and hammer illusion. Handle and hammer, that's what I'm gonna call my spin-off gun channel. God, can you imagine? Butt flaps, come down and outward, rotate this whole business before we go any further. This makes so much sense once you're inside it. Like, from the outside, looking at the toy in either mode, like, there's no way that I can picture how you would get from one to the other. But now I'm witnessing it happen before my eyes. Starting to look like we're nearly there, gang. That is nuts. I'm blown away by this. Imagine a gun blowing me away. <laughs> Don't. I guess we flick that up, get that in position, and then just close up these arms. And there it is, the big, ridiculous, oversized cartoon firearm. Ba -do, ba -do. Excuse me while I uh, secret agent this up. A cha-chink. Lock and load, gamers. Oh man, that's so good. Whoa. <laughs> Dan, thank you. Thank you. Boo, boo, boo. Thanks very much. So impressed with that. That's amazing. Unbelievable. I've had the other version for like, what, five years and just still paralyzed by fear of going near it. So Dan, massively appreciate the cartoonier option. It's new to me still somehow. And that is a deeply impressive bit of uh, engineering, bit of toy work. Transformers Masterpiece MP36 Megatron. We also have the instructions for Optum Promomlanon. So I don't feel like we've really given him a fair shot. Out. I feel like I kind of uh, kind of breezed through that. So that might not really be a fair comparison, but this is honestly so much more my style. Oh, hello. <laughs> and we are just about done, but I think it's time for a giveaway. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be much better served in the hands of somebody else. It's really not my style, but it is pretty good. And it goes for like a hundred quid. And I know there's Mastermind Creations fans out there, War Within fans, folks who are gonna enjoy this more than I am. So maybe that'll be you. If you follow these few simple steps, number one, please subscribe to me on my channel. Thank you very much. Number two, send me an email to giveaways at gmail.com. That's it, isn't it? And in the subject line, please just put MMC, as in Mastermind Creations, MMC. And then in the text, I would like like you to think up the silliest Optimus Prime third party name you can think of. Optus Prominent, come on. Yeah, something like that. Make up your own version of that. A legally distinct version of Optimus Prime that ain't Optimus Prime, but sounds just enough like it that you might fool grandma. I'll pick a winner at random. This isn't a contest. It's just a giveaway, a bit of fun. Let's do this worldwide. And if you could get the answers in for me by the 7th of April, please. Sunday the 7th of April before midnight GMT. One entry per person, please. And best of luck. And we'll get this lad to a more suitable home who will love him like he deserves. Nice bit of damn it open for you. So cheers very much to uh, Dan and to Briximus Prime. Please do check out the channel. Thank Thank you very much. I should be back with more bots before you know it. We've got Bapril coming up. I'm gonna stay on the shorts. We'll do some robots, yeah? Nice. Until that day, till all are sexy. All right, feels good, baby. Thanks for watching. Cheers to all the patrons who support my daft endeavors. Couldn't and wouldn't do it without you. Thank you so much. Big shout out this time to Mac. 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 Whoever's username is Mac on my patron list. Thank you, appreciate you. Take it easy. Be sure to subscribe for more Thews Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.